From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV at Tommy Max at my bar. Where else would we be having these awesome conversations with all kinds of people? I love doing this show. Brought to you by our friends at truckcrashlaw.com and Carpet Man Flooring. We're talking tech, we're talking military, we're talking life on this segment of The Horse's Mouth. Let's welcome in the panel. Joseph Lauden is here from Joseph Lauden, Lauden, sorry, Consultant. How are you, Joe? I'm doing wonderful. Can I call you Joe? Is that That's okay? That's perfectly fine. Thank you first and foremost for your service uh, with the Navy and uh, represent our country, man. Appreciate Thank you. that. I appreciate it. How long were you in the Navy for? I was in for four years. Okay, great. Yep. Right out of high school? or I actually went in when I was about 20, so about a year and okay. a half, two years later. Waited for a little yeah. bit and then... Yeah, I had a good conversations. Uh, my mom was actually dying of cancer, and oh, wow. I, I waited for that to end, had the conversation with her, and then was like, yep. She pointed to me in the Navy. She said, you always want to do it, so go ahead and go do it. Good. And that's what I did. Good. How, did you enjoy it? I loved it. You did? I loved it, yep. Great, great. Yep. I bet you uh, take a lot from it, don't you? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. What are you doing today? Talk, talk about your consulting business. So now uh, I am CEO and technical architect at Joseph Loudon Consulting. Um, we specialize in um, ServiceNow implementation. ServiceNow is a platform as a service. Okay. They just actually announced yesterday that they just became a Fortune 500 company. Okay. So a lot of our clients are the biggest names in, in every industry. Um, and we really focus on making sure that they take everything about their business and put it in one platform to streamline, automate, take all the manual work out of things. Okay. Um, I really focus on the healthcare space because I've had a lot of family that's either worked in healthcare or have had received life-changing healthcare. Okay. And I'm like, what better way to make an impact than to build things that, like for home healthcare, for example, I mean, yep. you can change lives by, with technology. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, great to have you on the show, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. James Lampke is here. Always good to How see you. How are you, brother? From Robert Half. Yes, right sir. up your alley, right? Jeez. Uh, you must... <laughs> I know of, you get excited kind of, when the tech people come. Kind of side by in. side. <laughs> kind of side by side. He, yeah. he, he, he sells it while people, our people build it. Yeah, absolutely. So, How you been? Everything yeah, good? Fantastic, man. This is be good. Be Everything good? Uh, it is. You know, uh, you know it, it challenging. A yep. market, as it were, you know, the, the economy the way it is, and sure. um, it, 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 it affects everything. But, you know, the beautiful thing is is we're in technology, so it's an ever-evolving field. I would almost yep. say, unless Skynet happens, we're, we're recession-proof to an extent, right? Yep. Um, so it, it couldn't be better, you know, but at the same time, too, you know, there's always its challenges that come yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. Joe, you told this offer, you, you've overcome quite the challenges uh, post-military career. Mm-hmm. I know mental health is a big part of of you and helping others, other soldiers, uh, with the mental health. Talk about that a little bit, man, and your story. And and I want to know how you got into tech. Like, yeah. how did you figure? You know what? I'm going to go into tech. Yeah. Like, tell your story, um, please. So mental illness was a large battling. Mental illness was a large part of my story and now purpose. So I battled mental illness for 13 years. Okay. I lost my dad really early in life. And then from my dad's death when I was 13 till the time I turned 26, I lost one family member every year for for for, wow. for 16 years. Damn. Um, wow. And that takes a toll on you. Yeah. And I didn't know how to grieve. I didn't know how to process. And then you get in the military, and it's very we compartmentalize things. Yeah. And I got really lucky because I met somebody that says he looked me straight in my face. He was a he was an E6. He said you're carrying a lot. He said you ever considered taking it off? I said that'd be great, but I don't know how. He said you go to therapy. And um, my, my journey in therapy changed my life. Mm-hmm. And I realized after that there was a huge stigma in it. And I promised myself that after I got out, I would do everything I could to fight it. Right. Because the day I came home to discharge out of the military, I had just come off deployment. I had about 20 days of my contract left. And it hit me that things were going to get really bad. And I was in recovery. I was in healing. I was in therapy. I was doing good. But I knew life was about to hand it to me. Right. Um, and... My, my journey to tech was one, again, from another conversation. I've been blessed to have people that looked into me and said, you're valuable. Do you yeah. realize that? Yeah. And I had a conversation with another aviation structure mechanic, which I was in the Navy, and he had transitioned into tech. And he's like, man, it's nice over here. And I was like, well, yeah, tell me about it. He's like, I work from home. I make you know about 90K, and um, I get to be around my kids every day. And yeah. we're used to being gone all the time. No, and right, at that right, time, right, right. I mean, at that time, I had lost my house. 
Wow. I just met my now wife and her two daughters. She was a single mom. Okay. And I promised her, I said, I don't know, I don't know when it's going to happen, but there's going to be a point where you never have to worry about anything ever again. Cool. Because you're with me right now. And um, got the opportunity in 2019 to go through training, but that meant that I had to leave my career in aviation. And okay. that was kind of, that was scary because that's all yeah. I knew. All I knew my whole life was manual labor. I grew up dirt road poor and but I kept this thought in my head of what, what, could, what difference can it make? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, went through training in 2019 with ServiceNow and then um, got my first job in tech. And the way I kind of pitched it was, I had started something called the Veterans Roundtable before that to help people overcome or avoid going through what I went through. Yep. If yep. I can get a hold of you while you still have six months to a year in active duty and help you design a plan sure. you don't have to because I had no I had no plan because I had no no idea of what was happening until it happened right, right. it was very yeah. this is what it is these are the cards you dealt you got to play them yep. mm -hmm. so the VRT became something me and another vet Jeremy Anderson one of one of okay. one of my best friends yep uh, we started that and by the end of it in 2020 when I, we finally stepped away from it we had 200 volunteers all over the world wow. just given their time because yep. we awesome. were like we don't have money we're both broke but we can devote time Yep. And when you have somebody call you at two o'clock in the morning and you talk to them and two weeks later they say, hey, if you would answer that phone, I wouldn't be here. Right. That's all That's all the motivation and payment it you pays need. Everything. That oh, pays no, everything. That pays everything. And then the blessing of understanding that when you get out, you have a network mm -hmm. of people. You just yeah. got to dive into it. Right. So that's where the mental illness and the tech and everything. And now I've been blessed to, in tech, not only build a career, but be an ambassador for other people. Absolutely. That come from non-traditional backgrounds. And, and shout out to ServiceNow, they, they've allowed me to, to be that person and be one of the many people that get to cool. be those ambassadors. So. Great. So it's 2023, and how you doing, Joe? I'm good. Good. Um, I, it's, it's funny to me. I mean, my, my faith is very important. It's the most vital yep. part of my life. And I've, I tell people all the time, I could never pray to be where I'm at because I couldn't see that far. Right. At one point in my life, it was just get me through this hour. Tomorrow. Get yep. me through this day. Yeah. I'm just trying to survive. And now he, I mean, so much has happened that it's just like, now it's about being responsible with it yep. and using it to make impact over and over and over. Absolutely. Joseph Loudon Consulting, I started that um, a year ago. Okay. And in the last three or four years, I've tripled my salary from what I started in, in cool. 2019. Cool. So, awesome. I mean, things have been great. And what matters the most to me is that other people will get to benefit from it. The impact, the yeah. message, the story behind all of it. So it's so yeah. surreal, too, isn't it? Uh, it's, 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 I it's, bet. It's, <laughs> yeah, I my, bet. Me and my wife are still like, we don't know how to feel about it, but we understand that there's responsibility tied to it. What are you going to do with it? Yep. Here's the blessing. Now, what yep. are you going to do with Purpose, it? Purpose, right? Yep. Purpose in That's life. That's what it's all about. And there was once upon a time where I had nothing but to survive. Right. That was the purpose. I don't. Right. I was telling myself, I don't know what the purpose of this is. I just know I have to survive long enough to see it. Yeah. And now, then you start to see it, then it's even more motivation. Like, okay, okay, yeah. and you get momentum, and you just keep building off of that. Absolutely, man. Well, cheers to that, brother. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Absolutely. It's great that you're here. Absolutely. Thank you for, for having me. The show. Absolutely. Oh, you missed. You missed. You missed. You missed. <laughs> All right. Hey, if you want to check out Joe and James's profile, check it right out there at IWantABuzz.com. And, of course, you see this great conversation and many others just by visiting the website. Hey, cheers to all our veterans and troops out there. And uh, we'll always say that here on The Horse's Mouth. So until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. cheers.